cholelithiasis can over the time lead to chronic cholecystitis. Here we see the wall of the gallbladder associated, uh, associated with fibromuscular hyperplasia. It is much thicker and here we see the hyperplasia of the smooth muscle cells and uh, here we have the fiber production. This is the result of chronic irritation. Part of the wall is hemorrhagic and in this part we can see cholesterol crystals deposition. On the higher magnification we can see that the superficial epithelium is mostly eroded and only here and there we can find some retained Rokitansky ash of sinuses. Those are the invaginations of the superficial epithelium to the deeper layers of the wall. If we go closer we can see that the epithelium is not atypical. There is no uh, invasive growth or desmoplastic reaction so this is just a reactive sinus and not adenocarcinoma. Here we see the smooth muscle cells of the muscularis propria. So this sinus goes into the perimuscular connective tissue of the gallbladder. In the chronic cholecystitis we can usually find mild uh, inflammatory infiltration or chronic infiltration composed of lymphocytes and plasma cells. In this part of the wall we can see these multiple needle-shaped clear spaces and those are cholesterol crystals uh, deposits. In between them we can see these multiple cells with a slightly granular or foamy cytoplasm and uh, those are macrophages that phagocytose cholesterol material. They are also called xanthoma cells or xanthomatous macrophages. Sometimes we can find them in subepithelial localization in the mucosa and in that case they are typically macroscopically visible as small yellow spots on the mucosa and this is called cholesterolosis of the gallbladder and uh, sometimes it resembles the strawberry. So the term uh, strawberry gall gallbladder is used for cholesterolosis of the mucosa. It doesn't mean that the mucosa is red, it means that we see multiple small yellow cholesterol deposits and they resemble the yellow seeds on the surface of the strawberry. Here we have another example of retained sinuses lined by normal simple epithelium. The nuclei of the epithelial cells are quite uniform, bland, they are round or oval shaped and the cytoplasm of these cells uh, usually have uh, multiple small vacuoles with a uh, mucin content in the apical part of the cytoplasm. So this is chronic cholecystitis. Thanks for watching.